Hello and welcome. Today we're taking a look at the Alpha 6 update of Space Haven, which brings ship-to-ship -ship battles into the game. You can see it down there. Basically what this game is, if you haven't seen it before, it's sort of a, a colony builder, but set in space, on board a spaceship. We're building a ship with all the components and, and, uh, and systems and all that stuff, setting out our crew into the galaxy. Uh, apparently fighting pirates as well as, as visiting derelict ships and mining and visiting space, I suppose. Let's go ahead and take a look at this thing and see what's going on with it. I've played it a couple times in the past. This one, um, it was originally a Kickstarter game. I think it's been like a couple of years now. Maybe one year. I don't know. It's been a while. And uh, slowly getting developed here. Up to Alpha 6. But uh, let's do the... We have a mining station that was abandoned at the height of the crisis of Earth. And it's our job to go build a ship and strike out into the unknown. Sing it, Elsa. All right, let's start this thing up. All right, so here we are. Welcome to our space station. Our job is to build a new spaceship. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got, uh, we got Will, Emily, Delaney, and Walter, and Dara over there are our crewmen. So we can see they have things they're carrying around. They're just hauling stuff around, apparently, at the moment. Uh, they all have also skills. They, they Skills, and they have... And they have... This guy's a psychopath? Emily's a psychopath? Uh, you know, okay, okay. Uh, we have we have status of food, energy, all that kind of stuff. We have conditions as well. If we pop up, they'll you can see up here they'll talk to each other and they'll have moods and all that. But we don't care about people. We care about our spaceship. Let's go build that thing. So welcome to space here. We've got uh, we got our mining colony here, which you can see is on an asteroid. And they're hard at work hauling supplies around and whatever they're doing. Uh, outside here in the universe, though, we've got some asteroids. This one has some noble metals on it. We have a uh, the MFS append. Is a uh, is a derelict ship we can go take a look at. We've got looks like some ice over here. Let's go. Yeah, go pick up some ice, and we have some carbon over there as well. We'll pick up that one up as well, and that's pretty much it out here. Um, we can eventually go if I remember the right button. There's a button to go look at. Well, actually, like into the is this one? This one it? Yeah, this is it. So we are in a large universe. This is you may think, oh, that's a pretty big map, but it goes even bigger. That's just one system, and it goes out even further and further, and it's a very large system. But for now, we're just at one planet here in one system out in the outskirts. Is that us? Uh, we're, uh, yeah, that's us over there. So, anyway, we aren't getting anywhere yet until we build ourselves a spaceship, so let's go do that. So let's go over here to build and set up a, uh, a hull and build a new hull. So over here somewhere, we can build whatever we want. We're going to build this sort of piece by piece, I think. We'll do something like... Something like that, I think we'll do... And this isn't like that. Just for a, a first sec sector, we'll get it started. And then we can continue on more things. But we'll start that thing up, and then maybe we'll do... I'm thinking we do like a, like our airlock and like a storage bay. And maybe do more, one more for this. I don't remember. What, I don't know what I'm... We'll try that. And then we'll have like a hallway, and then we can have like living quarters and all that on one side. We have to have a power room as well somewhere in here. Um, let's just go something like that for now and then we'll have another little system thing over a little spot over here for now we'll do that start building a spaceship got it game okay get to work everybody uh speaking of working they're all hanging around doing nothing we can come in here and take a look at our people this way we can see this is sort of a room world style setup or door fortress door therapist uh, where we've got folks that are good at certain things or bad at certain other things, and we can prioritize what they're doing. Dara here is a very good miner, so Dara, you mine, ma'am. Uh, also a very good doctor, so yeah, you uh, you, you doctor first, actually. Probably the better idea. Um, I'll turn industry on so you want to do it. Delaney here is very good at everything. You can see very good at medical and construction and maintenance. So I want Delaney doing construction the most, and, uh, and maintenance will work as well in industry. Yeah, all that stuff. Um, Emily's going to be your helper. Emily will help you build as well. And then Walter, you just work on the plants, buddy. That's all you need to worry about. And logistics, which is like hauling things. We also have Will down here is uh, is a, is a uh, botanist as well. Actually, give Will some of the job. Build an airlock. Okay, we'll do it in a second. I don't need two people on botany. I need um, I got maybe a third constructor just for the start, you know, because we're trying to build ourselves a ship here. We also have a schedule we can set up. We can say who's sleeping during the day or awake at night. Uh, well, if there is a night around here, let's go and put in a um. I would like to have a, a a night owl. I think it's six hours that what you're sleeping. You guys are sleeping six hours. So let's do that. You get a little free time at the first and the end of your shift. You know, coffee time and whatever else. I'm not I'm not crazy. You know, I'm not I'm not I don't know what I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of something funny, it's not working. Sorry. So we'll have three people working at night 
or in the day, three people working at night. And uh, we have the the Halley is the name of our our asteroid base. The Am Amalthea is the name of our ship. Can I change the name of that? Probably. And we can set where people live, like if they sleep, whether they're going to sleep here on the on the Halley, but they can come across eventually. We can tell them what to do. Um, we can tell uh, Delaney, you know, your job. You are working on the Amalthea. That's your that's your job, Delaney. You're the constructor. Yeah, yeah. So that's what you I want you doing over there. You're uh, really doing everything, but. We'll take care of that as well. Will's got his spacesuit on. He's going to head over here into our recycler, which is taking all this scrap and turning it into proper products. We've got our um, this guy taking taking carbon and, and base metals and making steel plates. We can say, just keep doing that, buddy. Um, and then we've got over here, we have the refining spot. We can say, hole blocks. We're making a lot of hole for our ship. We need those. Take steel plates, make hole blocks. Sure. So whoever has the industry button will go and do that. The ship getting built. Oh, yeah, look at that. It is. Excellent. Who's out there? The mighty rust bucket, led by Emily, so the psychopath. Yes, of course. All right, so uh, over here we also have food coming in. So we've got these spots over here, these grow beds. We can tell them to grow, like, uh, some potatoes and onions. Uh, fibers gives us things like, uh, well, clothes, and, and it's cotton, basically. We can set up, a, we'll do a bed of uh, one of those and an extra fruit vegetables. We like our potatoes. And then next one we're going to do a fruit bed. And then, what's his face? The botanist will come and work on this. We got some artificial meat we can grow in here. Mm, making me hungry. And then, uh, that, I got that one right. Yeah. And then over here is our CO2 producer, and uh, we got a power node over there. We'll see all that stuff once we get our ship built up. Uh, it does want to power... Uh, let me go crank this thing up. Let's do some proper speed boost in here so we can get this thing built. Uh, it wants an airlock on our ship, but we can't do it until we actually have, you know, a ship. So we'll let them build some things. They're taking these whole blocks that we've got and, and just teleporting them into place, I guess. Delaney and Walter are taking a nap while the other two are hard at work. Have we gotten any mining done? Um, you guys, oh yeah, they've already got it. It's empty. I think, I think that's what it says. You guys have worked on that already? That was quick. Um, got that water too? All right. So we got storage bays in here, storage uh, spots here, which is, which is holding all kinds of things. We can see what's, what's in here. And um, we can transfer it over to a different ship if we need to, which we'll do before we take off, obviously, to the next system. Uh, for what I remember the, before, last time I played this game was, it's been a while, but basically what you do is you, you bounce from planet to planet. You strip the system, and then you bounce to the next planet, uh, you know, and, and then you sort of go to the next. That's pretty much what you've got. Uh, Emily's having some major discomfort. Is it um, something, is some sort of psychosis problem? What's happening, Emily? All right, we have enough to get an airlock in here, so let's go ahead and set this thing up. Let's go to our ship and put in an airlock. We're going to put in a airlock right here. It's going to go in like that. That'll work. I built this poorly. I didn't. I thought, I thought the airlock was only two spaces wide. Let's do that for now. And uh, I'm going to go and do a little bit more hole. Because I, I have an idea. I have I have an idea in my head. I know it's not going to work out right. I already know that. But I'm going to try. Let's see if we can just do this for right now. Just to get one more thing. Because I'm going to squeeze in a, a, a stockpile right here. And the stockpiles are three, I think. Uh, where are they at? Area? No, over here. Storage. I want a, uh, a large storage, which I can fit. Now I can fit right there. Once there's an airlock, I can put it in there so we can have storage next to the uh, next to the old airlock. Once it gets made, so that same missing resources is because they're on here and not over there. So we have to go over here, grab the resources from our stockpile. There goes Walter, hard at work. Well, Walter's working on the plants right now. But uh, we can grab them from here, toss them into the uh, these little pods. And then haul them over there and get to work. We do have a shuttle as well, so eventually we can go take a look at this derelict ship and go scout it out. Oh, it's got a big hole in it. Oh, okay. Uh, and, we, and we go, you know, shoot up some aliens. If there's aliens on board. Not possible, huh? That's pretty dull. I'm making between um, insufficient, insufficient infra block and a hull block. Uh, probably just the same thing. They need, get, they need to get it hauled over there before they can do anything. And uh, I'm going to actually tell you, you're the scrapper. Go ahead and just scrap everything. If you if you come across some scrap, then make it into stuff. I don't think it's going to be a, and you know, not necessary for a while, but when you get there, go for it. There's fabrics we can make out of out of this stuff, which we'll make sure make five of those for now. We've got a uh, a water thing which takes the, uh, the ice and turns it into water. We'll do some of that. We can see all this stuff listed up here. We got 29 units of water. All our stuff is listed up here. 16 whole blocks left. We got some. Uh, Hyperfuel. I thought it was limes. Up there. Don't eat that. Don't eat those limes. And we will um, get to work on this thing eventually. 
There we go. That's the last piece of hull. So we have a we have a self-enclosed ship, which actually you can see now we actually have a, a roof to the thing. On the roof, we can put turrets on there and, and radar and stuff. This is all the new patch. I guess this is a pretty big patch that they've they've added in. And uh, that's all in there now. We can also set up walls if we want to do that. Um, once this gets made, should happen pretty soon. We'll have ourselves an airlock, then we can start doing all kinds of things in there. So we just gotta wait for that to happen. And I think what we'll do is, well, nothing else is... Let's go make sure we grab... Let's grab the... Sure, the noble medals. Grab all that stuff. Might as well. Grab all those. And uh, bring it back to our uh, our asteroid here. Emily and Will, or what are you guys doing? Are you going to have a bite to eat at the kitchen? Yeah, the kitchen, they come over here and they can... Eat some uh, root veggies and some meat. And they can sit around here like Emily's doing and... Think crazy thoughts and, and eat some things. And Will's having a seat. There's our... Where's that gang? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Bring your guy over here because we got to go and build. What is that? Oh, is that where you're stocking the stock the, the supplies? Oh, okay. Go platform there. So we'll get this. Maybe. What do we need? We need one more of those green things. Maybe we'll get one eventually. And we'll uh, let me go up uh, ludicrous speed here. And get that thing made. We're hauling lots of stuff over there. Here we go. Is this it? Come on, come on. There we go. We got ourselves an airlock. Hooray! We're on our way to building a new spaceship for our crew. Okay. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I understand. People need to go work over there. We got it. We need to go and put in all kinds of things. We got to get ourselves a tool facility. We got to get a, uh, a stockpile. All kinds of stuff. It needs power over here. Let's set up. First thing we're going to do is stockpile. Let's get that started up over this way and bump it right there. We need a tool spot so people can make tools, which is one of our resources up here. Uh, let's go put in under resource. I don't remember what these things are. Um... And some, sort of, some sort of production, right? Production and item and tool facility. All right, so we stash this guy. It'll fit right there. Right there in the uh, in the main bay. Yeah, that's fine. Right there. All these goodies are coming out. Uh, we'll need a power node as well. We got all kinds of different sizes of power generation. Depends on how much power we need. We got the jumbo guy. We got the tiny guy. We have the even more jumbo guy. Let's go with the little tiny guy here for now. And uh, I'm going to stash him just sort of here in the back, I think. That seems reasonable. With that, um, we need to have some nodes because the power, as you saw, was only a certain area. So make sure we have some spots here. Let's stash this guy. I think this is covered in it. Where's your range? Um, I don't know. We'll find out whenever you get put in there. We can see what your range is. I know it wasn't over here, though. So maybe we'll put some walls up and some doors and we can have a different... I want it to look like a proper spaceship. Yeah, nothing, nothing terrible here. But we put some walls in and go with something like... Um, we can't really fit it. Oh, can we put it there? No, that's in the way. Well, you know, it's a good thought, I guess. Uh, well. Well, you know what? Maybe I don't know how to use walls. <laughs> I thought I did. Change room look by... Oh, that's just those walls. Oh. Uh, which one do I like? I mean, this thing is very next generation. Maybe Frankie. Um with the evil red one. It looks like, that's like that's XCOM style. Old XCOM style. Nowhere to rest. Uh, the guy that I have set over here, he's fine. He's fine. He can sleep. He's got bunks over here. They can take a nap wherever they want. They're, he's just whining about things. They got a big power generator over here. We'll get this set up eventually. Um, Spacesuit fatigue. Major discomfort. Yeah, well, we get there. Uh, we got the, the, this is set up. It needs power. We can tell to actually go ahead and start bringing things over. Bring, you know, whatever over here. We can say, bring those hull blocks over here. And um, maybe we'll get some hauled over here to help us help us out here. We also have this uh, this tool guy, which will help make some tools for uh, for us. We do have power in here now, which it looks like... Cannot remove spacesuits. What are you whining about? Um, that popped up on me before. I think it'll, it'll go away after, after a bit. Um... So we have, I guess it looks like it is in range. Nothing goes, we'll see how it works. We need to put something over here, though. So let's set up a power module. We'll get a uh, in-floor power mode. Oh, look at that. Ooh. I'm going to stash it, like, right there. Sure. Now, about those walls. Um, do I need to put whole pieces? No. Wall. Here we go, here we go. Spacesuit doors. Uh, this is... The, oh, yeah, there we go, there we go. Okay. 
There's a door. So let's set a door up like right there. And then we're going to go and put in a wall. That's a door. Wall there and there. Let's put a wall across here. Yeah, there we go. We should put a wall over here too. I think I... Yeah, that works. That works. Let's set a wall over here. There we go. We'll put a door in there somewhere. Oops. There we go. Completely unnecessary, but it, it looks good. That's all that really matters. Uh, this guy needs power. We go ahead and link it up here. We're going to link it to this guy. So now power will reach all where it needs to be. Uh, what's the next thing we need to make here? I had a little tutorial at the first time I played the game. I don't think they have it now. So I have to just sort of remember what's going on. I can't move spacesuit. Oh, oh, bad environment. Right, because there's no, there's no oxygen here. Right, that's the next thing we need to have is oxygen in this place. So we need some life support here. Let's get a, um, we need a, we need an oxygen generator. We also need a grass, a gas scrubber as well. Um, I'd like to squeeze this guy in here somewhere if I can. I don't think I'm gonna be able to though. So let's set it up. Hmm. Let's see. We could squeeze him in up here in the main room. Yeah, that's fine. Like there, we'll put our scrubber right next to it. And then we're going to need a, uh, a regulator as well, which is going to be just our, our temperature man. Keep the place nice and nice and toasty in here. It's cold outside. We'll just set him. We have a wall one also, which I don't think is quite as powerful. But does the job. We'll do a main guy. Put him in there. And then we need a... Oh, air vents probably go through these walls. These walls here. Doesn't matter which way. I don't think so. We'll stash one of these guys in. Put one there and stash one. Can it go back here? It can go right there. Yeah, make sure it's nice and toasty all around. Um, you guys should be in, in the powered place. You need some water to make sure you're working, which they should bring it on over here on their own. They, a lot of this stuff is pretty much automated. Folks will do what they, what they know to do without us really having to tell them too much. But that'll provide oxygen. That'll provide heat. That'll provide clean oxygen as well. So I think we're looking all right here. Needs unmet, but it should be coming over here in a moment. Can you, um... You aren't literally listening to me when I told you to bring over those those, those systems, did you? Uh, can you bring over... Let's see. We have water. We have nothing over here. We've got, um... No... Let's see. Where is a, uh... A stockpile here. That one's kind of empty. You guys got a lot of stuff. That one's got one thing of water. Move that guy away. It's in that water over there. Hopefully someone will use it. I think it'll probably work on its own. In time, anyway. Oh, a solar panel. What? A fire. Where? Did you fix it already? Okay. What are you doing over here? Oh, the water purifier. Okay. It's a strange place to have a fire. Okay, yeah. Move that stuff on over. You know, move it all over. And then uh, I want you to I want you to bring it over here. Bring all that water over here. There you go. There you go. Oh, it is working. Okay, perfect. The thing went away. We have oxygen now. Where's my uh, my 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 meter reader? Where is? How do I tell how we're doing here? As far as oxygen and all that. Um, it seems to be working. I don't know how to tell how well it's working. Here we go, here we go. So it is uh, room temperature around here. It's a little bit cooler on this side. Not absolute zero, though, so that's okay. We've got um, vents are working there. Oh, there's the other vent. Perfect. Radiation, hazardous gases. Nah, no problem. Um, smoke, CO2, oxygen levels are perfect. Power grid is mostly working. It doesn't quite reach up here too well. Uh, that should be powering that, though. Uh, we need to put another, uh, another one of these guys up here and fix that. Comfort. Yeah, okay, so next thing is comfort. We need to make sure we have a place for the people to sleep. Which I think is what we'll put in this room. So let's go ahead and set up. We can do like a kitchen as well. Um, let's go. We want bunks back here. We can put bunks in the back. Hmm. I'm just... Hmm, I don't know here. Let's go create... Let's see if we could do bunk, bunk, or... Hmm. This might be a good kitchen and, and like sit around and laze around room. We, we build our bedrooms back this way. Can I do that here? Like that. And then we'll come around like this. It doesn't have to be giant. It's just a couple beds. Like that, maybe. There we go. Put a wall there. No need to, no reason to, no need to go to that room. But that Because there's no thing there anyway. But um, 
Actually, let me go ahead and remove that spot there. There we go. Perfect. I don't want to remove the hole. I don't leave, the, leave the hole there. It's fine. Okay. So let's crank this thing back up and let them build on some more of that. I think I have enough of these laying around. I got 14. I'm, I, I got plenty. Okay. So on this side over here, what we're going to put in is we'll stash in some new crew things we need to get. We have life support dealt with. We, uh, we don't have a medical bed. We don't have a grow bed or a kitchen. We'll need to get a kitchen set up over here. I'm going to stash it. I think right there is fine. And then we'll have a, uh, a toilet. Do I put the toilet in with a kitchen or in here with the beds? Um, let's take a toilet back back here. Right there. Stash back over there. You know, if, if when you're done, you just toss it in the engine and it just cooks it away. Ooh, arcade machine. We need some bunk beds, which we will stash in here. How many people do we have? We have five people, so we just need really that. And we can set in... We need lights in this place, I suppose. Let's go in there. We'll put one over on this side. Uh, one over here. And we'll stick one over on this side over here. Like that. And we'll put one... Uh, here. May not have power for that one. Uh, we need some chairs and tables and all that. We'll put a... Um, oh, let's do this thing. Does this thing fit? Um... Kind of. It kind of fits. Yeah, it fits perfect, actually. So over there, I have a little spot, and then we've got a little row. Yeah, yeah, what is this music? It's terrible. Um, it could be the circle table, actually, would be a little cooler. Um, cancel that one. Uh, cancel. Let's add in a uh, the circle table. Furniture, circle table. Yeah, much. Now that's classy. That's extra classy. Okay, we got uh, we have a kitchen which we can make food at. We need a grow table. That's something we didn't do. I was gonna stash it in here. I don't know if I'm fit it now. Um, I need to make sure we have some a grow bed, which we have a few of those on the other side. We don't have to have a jump. I don't think I can fit this thing if I put it in here. I keep hitting the wrong button. F rotates. Does that fit there? Okay, I guess it does. Yeah, let's do that. You want to eat, just grab your potatoes right out of the dirt from right there. That's nice. That's classy. Uh, let's go back over here to hole and uh, and put in a wall here. Something like this. We're all, just all different walls. Right there. We can stick a door there, which is fine. Right uh, right there. And a door there, I think, is necessary. we got our bedrooms over here. How is the uh, the temperature? We don't have a... Does it, do we need a vent? Power is, is not quite reaching over here. This thing is not doing a very good job. This guy needs power. Let's set up a a wall node back this way. I'm gonna stick, up, I'm gonna stick one in here. Man, that thing should do better. Do better. If I lower your range, will you do better? No. You're just on the edge over here. Um. Hmm. All right, we'll put in a um. I'll put a a, a wall one in right over here by the table. That should be plenty. Uh, this guy's built already? No. But when it's built, we'll set up some links and connect these things. We only have the one right now. But we'll set up some more links. This guy can hold up the three. Most Everything can hold three, so we can go one over here and then bounce it over this way. You know, chain it all around and all that. Um, and let's see. Where's my... Uh, this one. Power. We have temperature. It seems to be fine. Comfort. Um, are you sure? It's a pretty nice looking chair. Oh, because there's no powers? Is because there's no power? Oh, because it's, oh, it's too close to that thing. Oh, okay. We need those walls set up. Is that... Oh, I need to have a... Oh. Well, that changes things. Can I move you? I can move you up one square. What's what's in the way there? What are you? A wall light. Okay. Um, I'm going to set you... Are you, you what's in the way? Move that. Can I move you now? One square up. Let's move that door. Let's scoot it over here. And um, I'll sit on this side so that we can put a wall there. Because people don't like that being next to their bed. I don't know why. It's like you get natural heat radiation off of it. Uh, let's link these guys up also. So I want to link up from here. I'm going to go ahead and link straight to you. Hopefully that'll be enough power. And then uh, I'll go to you too. You too. Uh, link to him. If I can click it. If I can click it. Come on, come on. 
No, that one. There we go. Okay, how's power looking now? Um, not really all that great. Seems to be very lacking. I wonder if I went straight from, instead of doing that, if I went straight from here, just to straight there. And straight back here. There we go. Now we should have more power. Right? Uh, no. No. You're not big enough. Hmm. Well, anyway, uh, let's move you. I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll just just forget about it. It'll be fine. Go up there. I'm going to put a wall in here so we can block this thing off because people don't like that. There we go. And let's put in a wall. We'll set in the uh, this one here. And... I'm not sure if that counts as being blocked off, but if it does, we'll... Uh... Comfort. Does that count? Oh, it does count. Excellent. You don't like that there is... I guess it's kind of close. You kind of wanted about that, but uh, light is fine. You can link to... Oh, I'll have to redo you. Link to that one. And link to that. As soon as it gets built, we'll go over there. And then... I didn't do me any good, so let's just leave it. Actually, you know what? Link to that guy. And then he can go around. Does that change anything? No, it doesn't. Fire on the Halley. Can you stop, stop burning things down, please? Hey, take it easy over here. Okay, so we have some sort of a ship. It's not going to go anywhere. You're in a bad environment, are you, toilet? What's wrong? Because of lack of power? Dumps. Zero, five. <laughs> What's your bad environment? What are you whining about? Let me put you over here. There you go. We'll put a wall all across there. So that'll make me come a little bit happier. And this is a uh, this is a light that needs to be on a power grid, which is not. I'm actually going to move this light rather than having to deal with that. I'm going to throw it in. You need to stop burning things down. Right there. That'll give us a light. That'll move that across. We can put a wall in there. And it'll look a little bit nicer. Different walls all the way across. Excellent. Excellent. Just like we planned it. Okay. So we've got... What do you mean, bad environment? What does it mean? Tell me about it. I know what a toilet is. What's wrong with it? Mm, I don't know. Well, whatever. Uh, Alright. So, we have power. We have oxygen. We have veggies? No veggies. We need uh, we need veggies growing here. And I want veggies and I want fruits growing in this spot. And, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to tell people to come over and live on over here. Let's go to my spot over here and say... I think not everyone has to go over here, but we can say... Who's my who's my workers? We've got constructors Delaney, Emily, and Will. Delaney, Emily, and Will. You guys are gonna sleep over here, and you guys can if you want, but you don't have to. Okay, use your new beds. Check it out. See how it's going. Seems all right if you ask me. Uh, you know what we should do before we call this a day? We need to go and explore this derelict. Um, you know what? It's at twenty. Okay, let me let me. We'll call the episode a day today. I and mean, we'll come back tomorrow, and we'll do some derelict exploring. That's what we'll do. So, um, make some of these things. So, thanks for watching. Again, this is Space Haven. It's on Alpha 6 now. And I'll leave links and all that below if you want to check it out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.